Hey folks, welcome back again. I just got done shooting the video that uh, I posted before this one. If you haven't seen that one, it was on hill descent control. And so we're at the bottom of the hill right now that we used hill descent control to descend. Now we're going to drive back up the hill and I thought as long as I'm down here, this would be a good time to talk about the difference between traction control, a locking differential, and four-wheel drive. So, I'll get you spun around here in a minute. I've got a camera about a third of the way up the hill, facing back down. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try to drive up this hill in two-wheel drive. We're not going to make it. It's very loose stone and it's quite steep. We'll show what happens when traction control kicks on. We'll talk about that. Then we'll lock the differential, and we may or may not make it up with a lock diff. I'm guessing we won't, and then uh, we'll try probably four-wheel low is, is what I'm thinking it's going to take to get up and out of here. It's what I usually use. So we'll get you spun around here, and we'll take you for a quick drive up the hill. Okay, so we're in regular two-wheel drive. I'm going to lock it in manual first gear here, and we're just going to crawl up the hill here. See how we do. Okay, so right here we're spinning and I can feel the truck braking as it tries to uh, eliminate wheel spin. So it's remapping my throttle and it's activating the brake on the wheel that's spinning to try to put traction to the other wheel. I've already dug a little bit of hole a little bit of a hole and I don't want to dig anymore because I'm going to have to fix it but just to give you a perspective here this is 12 degree pitch so we're uh, we're only on a 12 degree hill right now and we're not able to ascend the hill in two-wheel drive so I'm going to back up Actually dug quite a hole there. I'm gonna get out real quick and fill my hole in. You can see there there's actually two holes so traction control did its job because it tried to put power to the other wheel. So the truck's got a, a regular you know open differential so it, it should have just spun one wheel, but because we have traction control, it applied brake pressure to that wheel and put power to the other one. And that's why I've got two holes to fill in here and not just one. So we're going to lock the differential. You can see there our differential lock is engaged. And we're going to see if having the diff locked helps us get up the hill. My guess is probably not. And I'm going to drive just a little bit different line here this time just to not dig in the same holes. So here I can feel it already. We're already spinning. The difference is now we're spinning both wheels and we're not, you know, we're not uh, utilizing any help from traction control. Okay, I'm going to get out and probably fill in my holes again here, make sure I, looks like I dug a couple little ones. I'm going to go fill those in real quick. I want to have all the neighbors get upset at me for messing up the hill here. So now, we'll put the truck in neutral and we're going to go four low. Shift in progress. Shift delayed. Pull forward. Okay. Advanced track is off. We are in four wheel low. And I can tell you from experience, we're not going to have any trouble going up the hill now. So in four wheel low, it has disabled traction control. So even if we were to spin a little bit, traction control is not going to do anything at this point. Well, at this point, I stopped about halfway up the hill, 
and put the truck back in two wheel drive just to show a close up of what's going on with these tires. So as you'll notice as I start to apply power here in just a second, you'll see the tires start to spin. And if you look closely, you'll notice one tire spins and then the other tire starts to spin. And then you'll see again here, one tire spins, it stops and the other spins. So that's traction control doing its job applying the brake pressure to the side that's spinning in order to try to gain traction. Now you'll notice both tires are going to spin at the same time because I've once again locked the differential. You'll also notice the truck slides sideways because both tires are spinning at the same time. And then our final attempt is four-wheel drive and the truck creeps up the hill. Whew, don't mind me if I'm a little, a little winded. I just had to go back down that hill Get my camera it's a lot steeper than it looks so all right we'll get this thing back in two-wheel drive here there we go so usually if i see people that um comment about oh usually you'll hear like somebody will say well my truck you know it's only two-wheel drive but it's got traction control and they think you know traction control is gonna work for them just like four-wheel drive most four-wheel drive people know the difference but um, just in case you were a little bit confused maybe it's your first four-wheel drive and you're not quite sure how it all works together traction control does work on these trucks in four-wheel drive and depending on what drive mode you're in um, it can be more aggressive or less aggressive, but it is a helpful tool to keep you from spinning your wheels, especially like on snow and ice. But I usually find in an off-road situation, I'm usually turning that off. And uh, I'm either using four-wheel drive or using my locking diff or both. So if you were, uh, if you were at all wondering about the differences and how traction control perform compared to four-wheel drive or a locking diff or both. Um, that was the best job I could do to give you a demonstration of it here um, without any snow on the ground. So, As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.